President Emerson Umningagwa has reportedly cracked the whip firing seven high-ranking members of the Zimbabwe Defense Forces ZDF after they failed to rein in their subordinates, who walked out on him during the handover of military equipment by the Chinese government last week. Several low-ranking army officers who were seated in the open abandoned the event and sought shelter on buses following a heavy downpour, while Umningagwa, who is the commander-in-chief of the ZDF, was speaking during the handover ceremony at Inkomo Mechanized Brigade in Zimba, a few kilometers outside Harare. Highly placed sources within the ZDF told Newsday that the axe fell on regimental sergeant majors from the Parachute Regiment, Special Air Services and Mechanized Brigade. The officer commanding Inkomo Barracks Mechanized Brigade was demoted, while several majors were transferred and pending court-martial for failing to control their troops. During President Umingadwa's speech, a heavy downpour caused troops seated in the open to scramble for cover on a bus. This was interpreted as disrespect towards the commander-in-chief and frankly, quite embarrassing. An insider disclosed. Last week, a flash message notified regimental sergeant majors of their dismissal due to their inability to command their troops. Confusion has arisen as some dismissed individuals have reported for duty. Contacted for comment yesterday, ZDF spokesperson Colonel Alfios Makator said he would respond via email. I will email you our response. I saw your message and we are processing it. He said. Makator had not responded to the questions at the time of going to print. The donation of equipment worth 200 million yuan 28 million US dollars is meant to bolster Zimbabwe's security operations and modernize its armed forces. According to video recordings released by the Presidential Communications Department, the donation comprised eight Narinko WMA 3016x6 tanks, WZ551 infantry fighting vehicles, six infantry trucks, ambulances, motorized water purifiers, and minibuses. The dismissals have reportedly triggered discontent and low morale within the military. The abruptness and severity of these dismissals have unsettled many within the ZDF. The lack of clarity surrounding the specific charges has fueled frustration and confusion, said a soldier. Several analysts cautioned against solely attributing the dismissals to troop control issues. South Africa-based political analyst Romeo Chasera said the political context cannot be ignored in this case. Umingagwa has previously utilized the military to consolidate his power. These firings could be interpreted as a message to ensure continued loyalty, remarked Chasera. Umingagwa's questionable support among lower army ranks was revealed by reports of soldiers voting against him in the August harmonized elections. In an attempt to appease the security sector, Umingagwa allocated a substantial portion of the 2024 national budget to the defense and Home Affairs Ministries. Presenting the budget last month, Finance Minister Mthili Cuba signed ZWL $10.8 trillion to the security sector, dwarfing other sectors such as health and social services, from a total budget of ZWL $58, 2 trillion 10 billion US dollars. The Defense Ministry received the highest allocation. Amounting to ZWL dollar three six hundred and thirty seven billion six hundred and thirty six million. The budget statement justifies this by stating the security forces play a crucial role in safeguarding the nation's territorial integrity, national interests, and sovereignty over land and airspace against both internal and external threats. Peace is fundamental to economic progress, 